Hello everyone, welcome back to Green Engine Media. Uh, today we are at the Zambia Air Service Training Institute. Uh, a training institute that trains um, our aircraft, our maintenance engineers, our air traffic controllers and uh, different careers that are involved in you know, aircraft uh, maintenance. We're just opposite uh, uh, Kaunda, okay, Kaunda International Airport uh, Center. Today I have uh, a special uh, guy here who's doing air aircraft maintenance engineering, Mr. Nicholas. So, mm. so hi. I'm fine, thank you. Now. Uh, fine, thank you. Welcome uh, to Green Engine Media. Thank you so much. Bob. All right. So, um, can you just tell us what, uh, what your full names and uh, what career you're doing here? Okay. So, my name is Nicholas Mangolo and um, I'm studying aircraft maintenance engineering. I'm a final, final year student. Yeah. Final year student. Yeah. No, all right. So for people that are wondering that, what is aircraft uh, maintenance engineering? So aircraft maintenance engineering is basically um, an aviation course that trains uh, aircraft maintenance technicians. Right. So these are the guys that are actually on ground working on aircraft, maintaining planes, um, and all those those minor oh, things. Uh, we can just see from this, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, the, you're the professional guy there. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, why the career? What what motivated you to 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 choose this career oh. from from all the different uh, um, um, uh, courses that and the careers that are offered here yeah. at Zesty? Why did you uh, go for this one? Well, first of all, um, uh, I had quite a strong background in. Uh, my my career and guidance teacher, uh -huh. like he actually like I, I sort of uh, introduced me to Zasti, uh -huh. and he he uh, referred this course to me, and I had two options. I had the uh, the option to study avionics, which is like the electrical part, uh -huh. and I had the, the also the option to study the mechanical part, which is the engines and aircraft that uh, okay. I'm doing right now. And I opted to go for the engines and aircraft because I thought I'd be better. Very better. So, so far, have you found uh, um, any challenges so, uh, ever since you came here the first year? <laughs> now you're saying you're in your final year. Yeah. So obviously, maybe there might be some challenges uh, that you had faced. So what challenges do you face that those people that want to, to, to do this career he mm. would brave themselves, right? So that they can come here full, you know, with full strength. <laughs> I feel like one of the challenges, obviously, on the onset is just the pass mark here. Pass mark? It's, it's sort of, yeah, it's high. I think it's actually the highest in the country. But 70%, oh. which is just, yeah, the pass. 70%? Yeah, that's a pass. Yeah, 70 is a pass. So it's sort of, it's sort of, you have to prepare mentally for such a, yeah, <laughs> such a big. Mm. Yeah, so big. why is that? Is it because maybe, Air, aircraft, you know, involves the aircraft industry involves a lot of lives because maybe one a person can screw up and yeah. and cause havoc for for the entire country. Yeah, I, I feel like it's just to raise the standards. Ah. Actually, the standards internationally is eighty five percent, but for us we're at seventy, so it's actually, it's actually bare minimum. So wow, um, I, I feel like it's like that to so, so the standards are are higher ah. because any any slight mistake for a person in my profession can cause a lot of uh, damages. damages. Not only people, but also aircraft are really expensive. So, mm. yeah. So, so um, uh, mostly when you're learning, do you have any practicals and stuff? Do you just do the theory? Because, um, of course, what, uh, the airport is just adjacent to this place. Uh, do you guys do any practicals that help you to, you know, to be the guy that they want in the industry? Yeah, we... Uh, our program is quite hands-on, so we don't just we don't just uh, do the theoretical part. We do the theoretical and practical as well. Uh -huh. So it's it's sort of uh, co concurrent. You are uh, from the classroom. We we'll go to the hangar, and we've got like we've got rooms that are just specialized for for our our, our studies. Like for example, we've got the engine bay where after you learn the the engine from class, you go and see it and you you know you learn how to maintain it, to to repair, to modify all those. Mm. Yeah. So right now, three years you've been here. Yeah, you know how the airplane, the aircraft engine looks like, yeah. and at least you can assemble it and reassemble it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, guys, uh, aircraft maintenance engineering is quite uh, the career for those guys that would just love to to to, to know more about this. You could visit Zesty. It's just adjacent to Akinetkaunda Airport, and uh, it's quite an interesting place. So. 
So as we wrap up this um, interview, um, what's for the future? What do you ask after you're done? Because you're saying you're, you're completing this year, right? Yeah. So after you're done, what next? What are your plans? Well, uh, there's quite a, a number of things that I could do. It's quite broad. Yeah, I could go in uh, maintaining turbines at, with Zesco, or I could go like with line maintenance with uh, Zambia Airport Corporation, or just be inspecting and doing all that stuff. And I could also go the oily way, which is literally breaking down engines and putting them together back together mm. and there's also mining because we the, the systems are quite similar uh, with the mining industry heavy duty process uh, mechanics is quite quite similar so the it's quite broad but for me personally i'd like to be involved with uh, the training aspect I'd, I'd like to be an instructor instructor yeah, yeah. Right. So you're saying, <laughs> you know, if we're about to wrap up this interview, but you have just said something that's really interesting, right? Yeah. So someone might might look at the name aircraft maintenance engineering, mm-hmm. and they might just think that this course is limited to aircraft alone. So I mean, yeah. the skills that you gain from these are invaluable, such that you can apply them yeah. in different facets of engineering. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, guys. Oh. Uh, this has been Engineering Media. We are zesty, as you can see. We have a specimen behind here. Um, thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.